know him while the church tried to kill me off. Mm-hmm. Not all of them. I came home. And isn't it amazing how God in this past week would allow me to see that little church? Mm-hmm. And then let me preach at it. He allowed me to go in, sit down, and listen. So that Frida could be used to serve that morning. And in case you didn't know this, when we first got to Salem, we had to take her to urgent care. Isn't that something? Hmm. She goes to urgent care to get what she needs. And the Lord holds her in the palm of his hand. And then he gives her the strength to serve. Amen. See, we we talk about I know we all have personal experiences. But you really need to be listening. I want to close with this. One of the shortest sermons ever preached, huh? What do you think about that? Maybe we ought to read the whole chapter first of Luke 1, huh? 80 verses. I am. Teaching, you better pay attention. Now look around in the house of God. I'd be done soon. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I got a good sense of humor. Uh, yeah. See, if you really knew me, you'd really understand who I am. Come on, brother. But many of you really, really don't. And that's not a knock on you. It's not. It's all good, as a matter of fact. Laughing, Mama? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, Mama. <laughs> oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord. I'm so glad to be saved. Amen. Did I make a lot of mistakes in my life? Yes. But what did the Lord do? took the blood huh? yeah. and covered them in the blood. Amen. We can't make up for yesterday. No. But we can go forward. Yes. If you want to live in the past, live there. But I ain't living with you. Amen. Are you here? Yes. First Peter, chapter 4. Well, let's do chapter 3 first. First Peter 3. You know when you arrive, and I'll tell you what verse. Amen. Please take this to heart. Amen. Got my son ready again? In a minute, okay? Be faithful. Y'all ready? Yes. Yeah. Verse 15 of chapter 3. Well, verse 8. Really, so let's do verse eight. Then we'll jump over that other verse. He says, "Finally, in everything that has been done, be all of one mind, have compassion one of another, love as what, be pitiful." Oh no, not real. No, that makes me look like I have no sense. I'm weak. Be pitiful. Be courteous, not rendering evil for evil. Or railing for railing. But contrary wise to that blessing, knowing that ye are therefore <laughs> thereunto called that ye should inherit a what? Amen. Amen. Alright? So watch this then. Look at verse 14. Verse 14 says, But and if ye suffer for righteousness sake. Amen. What? Sing, O barren one, then sing. Yes. 
Happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But what am I supposed to do if I want the victory? But sanctify the Lord. God, in where at? In your heart, in your lap, in your inner man, your innermost be, your will. Sanctify the Lord God in your heart, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with what meekness and what else? Fear. Mm. Go to verse 18, please. For Christ also. What has he done? The just for the unjust. That he might do what? See what he was doing all that time? He was saying, Jim, I'm bringing you to me. That you might know me. See, because uh, there's something about that verse right there that's on the wall right now. Many Christians never get to 2 Corinthians 5, 70. They get saved, but they don't live like a new creation. Right. If I didn't live like a new creation, I couldn't have went to Oregon. Huh? I couldn't have took my wife with me. Are you here? See? But God is faithful. Yes, he knows how to heal us of everything in our heart. Heal people around you that don't want to be healed. Huh? He don't want you to live in yesterday. He wants you to live in today. The accusations of yesterday will always come. But he cast them into the sea of forgiveness and never to be remembered no more. Right, I don't deal with it. I don't process them here because this is what happens. And he has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. But he did something else when he put the praise in. He turned around and he gave me a test. Yes. That's your mm -hmm. That overcame him. You know, the accuser of the road yes. mm -hmm. overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. And the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives unto the death. But so when people would come and want to remind you of yesterday. God will send a little old mother of the daughter and say, I just love you. Mm -hmm. And then that same mother walk up to your wife and say, honey, I just love you. Mm -hmm. But the church will say, crucify mm -hmm. The people will say, crucify him. But while they're saying crucify him, the Lord is saying, I am redeemed. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. He was Bruised. I chastised it. I took all of that. But I also did one more thing. I allowed my stripes to heal. Come on. To heal. You want to be healed? Now who shall lay any charge to God's in It is God that justifies her. Let him preach your stands that you take. Right, Joseph? That's right. Let the Lord do it, Liz. Don't defend yourself. Is God faithful? Yes. All right, okay, good. Let me go, 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 go over chapter four really good, really right quick. Verse one of chapter four of first Peter, right? Are you home? Mm -hmm. yes. For as much then that I might know him, for as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the where? What are you supposed to do? Likewise, with the same what? For he that has suffered in the flesh hath what? Well, glory, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but where am I supposed to live at? <coughs> what do you want to do? You want to live to the will of God? Mm -hmm. Let me read you this and I'm going to play the song. He was poor. He might make us rich. He was born of a virgin. That we might be born of God. He took our flesh. That he might give us the spirit. He lay in the manger. 
that we might live in paradise. He came down from heaven that he might bring us to heaven. Mm. And what was all this but love? My heart be not rocks. This love of Christ should affect us. If our heart be not rocks, this love of Christ should affect us. And I might know him. And I might know him. I don't think, but I want to know him just because I go to church. Because he knew me before I got to church. Yes. But he knew I needed to come. Like Matthew 11, 28 and 29. You know, come unto me all ye that labor and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me. Take it upon you and say, learn of me. For I'm me. I'm Lord. That's what we are. That's what he is. That's what we're supposed to become. To learn of him. When we learn of him, we'll find that rest in him. That we are seeking. Lust ain't oh, oh, wait a minute. Lust is a deceiving thing. It destroys lives. Lust has many faces. Not all lust is sexual. We can lust after all these things and try to find satisfaction in those things. And those things destroy us. They're just because our flesh is craving certain things. But when we learn to know the Lord, we won't seek to kill him like Paul did because he knew him. Mm -hmm. Huh? And he knew the power of his resurrection. Yeah. He began to walk in that fellowship of his suffering. He got there. How does that apply to us today? That says, you know what? I have faith in God. I'm going to forsake all of those things. Are you here? I'm going to take care. That's faith. Forsake all of that. I take care. And I'm willing to allow him to crucify me every day. Is it hard? You darn right it is. I'll tell you one more thing. This is how good God is. When I came back here not having anything, and I went for a long time, I couldn't even find a job. No car, no nothing, just padded turns, you know, left and right. I had to walk around everywhere I needed to go and sure. had to ride every time where I could. And I told myself I ain't never going back out to any cotton fields. <laughs> Guess where I went? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not an air-conditioned building, but having a hole in my hand. I was raised doing that. But God was teaching me a good lesson. Sing, Jim, in this field. Mm. You'd be the best cotton chopper that you could ever chop. So when people talk about you, you take folks are taking jobs that you won't take, don't talk to me like that. I don't. My mama raised and taught us, my dad taught us how to do the work. drove cotton pickers when the other people had to drive the air we drove the one that didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. Before we drove that, we had to walk up and down the field with a hole in our hand. Mm -hmm. yes, had to block the cotton to make it perfect so the cotton wouldn't choke its own stuff out, so cotton could breathe and the others could go around and, and it could grow. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had to jump in the truck and get on the truck to go out to the field some 30, 40 miles away, depending on where they was chopping at. Yeah. And we better not come home so we couldn't miss the bus or the truck. <laughs> We'd have to sit on the back of the truck, packed. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes we had shelter over the top of it, sometimes we didn't. When we did have it, they made it out of wood. Mm -hmm. Stuck them in the side of the holes on the truck to hold them down. But now y'all got them fancy cameras that go over and latch it, you know. And yeah. We didn't have any of that. Mm -hmm. Had a bucket of water that we could drink out of, and if you didn't have a lunch to take, water. Huh? 
I'm going to say so much baloney, I don't like baloney now. <laughs> it's not your personal, mama. It sure did. It sure did. So maybe we ought to heed the wisdom. Stop all this stuff. Huh? And the same shoes that went to the field were the same ones that took us to school. Huh? Yeah. What was it? Yes. We didn't have hundred dollar shoes. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. When we couldn't go to the store and buy blankets and all that stuff, the LB Prize man would drive through the community, come to the house, and he'd buy a blanket and stuff from there. He'd put it on a slip because your word was your buddy, and he trusted you. And he'd show up every month after that and come back and you pay him. And the kids got a blanket. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. But some of y'all, you're so blessed that. You haven't gone through and lived like we had to live out there in them places. Green oh, yeah. We used to fill up the boots. with Y'all remember them, don't you? Uh, fill them up and get something. Yes, sir. God's been what? Good. Faithful. Faithful. Yes, sir. I took, now I got so many socks in my dresser drawer. I got to throw them on the bed, and I got to go, go through them. But there was a time we didn't have that many socks. That one pair, you wash them and keep on trucking. Huh? But it was hard to feed 11 miles. See, but some of y'all, you, you don't appreciate how God has blessed you. And if you're not careful, you're going to turn it into a curse. Well, God, you still got it. Yeah, he does. That's mercy. But you better heed the word of the Lord today. Huh? When God would stick all of us living in a sedan, and we had to drive in the bucket. I don't know how we made it, Joseph, but we was in that car, and we didn't argue for us a fight. Amen. Huh? <laughs> I heard my mama saying, oh, I'm closing. I am. She said, but not. Uh huh. We learned to appreciate what we had. Huh? Now I got too many socks. <laughs> and when I get so back home, I'm. They go. Amen. Uh, but I poured them on the bed so I wouldn't put them back up. I ain't going. No. Some of you need to go and clean your heart out. We're having a yard sale so we can sell those socks. Absolutely. <laughs> or give them away. I don't care. Some of us need to. What was that? Give them away to the rocket sale. Give them away to the rocket sale. Amen. I'm grateful. Y'all that are spoiling your kids, stop it. Amen. Stop. Amen. Tell them no. Yes. They'll get over it. We're the better for it. God is good to all of us. You are blessed. You know what I've learned through that? That generation, they're, they're passing away. You better glean what you can right now. Because there's a time coming and even has already started. We're caught in the middle of it. Because that time we were born, but we get to see that generation. And we can see the generation coming behind us. So we're like locked in the middle. We see it from both sides and y'all don't see it. And God is trying to open your eyes so that you may see. It. And you may be reminded. Because when those hard times that are coming are going to hit, Mm. You're going to say, I wish I would have learned that. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have learned how to cook when I was at home. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have learned how to clean house when I was at home. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have learned how to put the clothes in the, uh, you know, because everybody didn't have a washing machine. Mm -hmm. But I wish I would have learned how to take some soap and put it together and cleanse them. I wish I would have learned how to need soap, you know, with a needle and thread. Mm -hmm. I keep a needle and thread. Mm -hmm. I can sew really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 